Palestinians broke through the fence. They put the F-35s on Palestinians. And as you might have seen, there was some sort of rave or desert party where they were having a great time until the resistance came in electrified hang gliders and took at least several dozen hipsters. But I'm sure they're doing... How are they cheering for this? I showed y'all a video yesterday of Hamas parachuting into a rave and taking the lives of many, many people. And they just cheered it on. I told you, this is a, this is a spirit of evil. People, listen to this. In electrified hang gliders and took at least several dozen hipsters. But I'm sure they're doing very fine despite what the New York Post says. But I'm sure they're doing very fine despite what the New York Post says. Y'all see the evil in this? This is one of the people who was at one of the raves, my friend. Shani Loke. Not doing very well. In fact, was in the back of a pickup truck getting spat on by different men yelling out Allahu Akbar. I don't, I don't think that's doing very well. Many, many other people's lives were taken. You had a different girl in the back of a motorcycle screaming out for help while she was getting taken away. Now, there are different hostages that are in different rooms. There are different hostages that are in different rooms, different women. But what do you think is going to happen with them? Huh? What do you think Hamas is going to do with them? One of the commanders in chief said it's okay for them to take sex slaves. Sex slaves. I mean, what kind of heart? Listen. I don't care if you win a war. I don't care, you know, if you, you know, well, I care, but I'm saying like, even if you do win a war, even if you do invade a war, I mean, invade a country or things like this, when you take hostages, you may have hostages. When you step into a place where you start trying to rape them, when you step into a place where you start trying to take their free will away from them as far as having it, having sex with them you have stepped into an evil place war shouldn't even happen unless it's 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 a must you're defending yourself so when you when you invade and then take women and children and start doing things that is that is not in their will and raping them over and over and over by many different men, you are evil. Evil. And you got a man saying, I'm sure they're okay, despite what the media shows. No, my friend. I know one of them who definitely, definitely, definitely isn't okay. Whose mother was crying out on the news. In fact, her boyfriend is also missing. And there's different pictures of many of them people whose lives are taken. I mean, what kind of brainwash do you have to be? How much, how much manipulation do you have to be in to see what's going on? But listen to somebody like this saying, and I'm sure they're okay despite what the media is showing. This is New York City. That's New York City in the United States of America. If somebody is in here talking like that and has a heart like that, what else do you think they'll do? What else do you think that they're up to do? With that type of spirit on them. Listen to me right now, guys. Those people who are doing that in that country, yelling out Allahu Akbar, we don't have the same God. We don't have the same God. 
if you got friends and you know different people that you know yelling that out that's not the same god allah in the quran is not yahweh in the bible now allah may may mean god some christians say allah but the allah that they're talking about in the quran is not yahweh from the bible It's not. The doctrine that came to Muhammad is doctrine that we don't have. There's no salvation over there. They say that Jesus was never crucified in the Quran. They said that Allah made it just appear as if he was crucified. Well, if that's the case, then Allah is the reason that there are billions of Christians. What kind of buffoonery is that? How foolish does that sound? A book that came over 500 years later wants to tell us that Jesus wasn't crucified when it's one of the biggest historical facts that we have today. And we're supposed to believe that. No, our Bible says in Galatians 1, 8, even if an angel comes to you and teaches you a different doctrine, let that angel be cursed. Our Bible says even Satan masquerades like an angel of light. Even Satan masquerades around like an angel of light. So if an angel comes to you with a different doctrine, it's Satan. You putting the pieces of the puzzle together yet? You putting the piece? So an angel is who was supposed to come to Muhammad, who had, who had, who had come to Muhammad, right? And gave him a different doctrine than the ones that we believe. So in our Bible, when it says, even if an angel comes to you with a different doctrine, let them be cursed, it had to be talking about the angel that came to Muhammad. And you got different Muslims out here who will say, well, the Bible has been corrupted. Well, if that's the case, in the Quran, it says that we should believe in the word, believe in the Bible that we have. And the Bible that we have is the exact same Bible that was around when Muhammad was around. So when that angel was telling Muhammad they should believe in their book, that angel was talking about the book we have today. I mean, it's, an, it, it's easy to understand when you actually think. The problem is with a lot of different people is they want to they want to worship their religion other than God. They don't want truth. They want their religion. They want what looks cool. That's why you got a lot of different people who are uh, in Islam saying it's the fastest growing religion, though. It's the fastest growing because they want what looks good. I don't want what looks good. I don't want what looks cool. I don't want what happens to be the popular. I want what's true. That's why before I even came to the Lord, I was like, Lord, I just I want the truth. I want truth. Before I started truly walking with Christ, I was dating a Muslim. Who my heart was completely for. So when I was going through a phase where I just want the truth, I was willing to, do, to go either way. And Christ said, I'm the way. Christ said, I'm the truth. The Holy Spirit came into my life and completely shifted my desires. Supernaturally. There is nothing a man can tell me about my God. We don't share the same God, people. We don't. You're not going to have a bunch of Christians seeing things go on in a different country with a whole bunch of Christians taking people hostages, taking people as sex slaves, and us over here cheering on. It's just not going to happen. 
If I seen somebody, if I seen a group of people who call themselves Christians doing that in a different country, you know what I would say? I would say they're not Christian. They're hypocrites. They are not my brothers and sisters. I don't know who they are. We don't share the same God. But you don't have that with them. At least not right there. You have people cheering it on. Saying that with the media, what's on media, what's on social media are lies. They're lies. Even when the parents come out and cry on camera saying that that was their child, that was their children. Even when they come out and say it, it's still a lie. The foolishness. The absolute foolishness. Pray for the Lord to intervene, my brothers and sisters. Only the Lord, only the Lord can win. The Lord has already won. Hallelujah. Be on the right side, brothers and sisters. Don't be foolish. Be on the right side. Hallelujah. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.